Hello and welcome back to our other class of uh, creating a music app using uh, a music web app using PHP. So we are going to start from where we stopped that in the previous video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay, so in the previous video, let us open the project that we were using the this local host truck. It's using for music, okay? Okay, so we had things like uh, add song. I think that's where we stopped at. We stopped at what? At add song. So today, we are going to proceed with that. So we're going to add a new song today. Uh, so let's get started so first of all I'll go and check my form right so yeah it is the file for add new song it here add song and then uh, okay it is here right uh, so we say that the form must be having this attribute of multi-part okay the form the form must be having this attribute of what of multi-part otherwise if it does not have this attribute of multi-part uh, then you what your form will not be able to upload a file for any php for any php form that is going to upload a file it must have an encrypt type of multi-part and uh, method of post Otherwise, if you do not have a method of multi, I mean, in type of multi part and the method of post, then it will be able to do what to upload the file. So, we are going to check here if there is an instance of uploading a what? Uploading a song. Did you upload a song? <laughs> As if you finished uploading a song. Get artist. Huh? Did we really finish uploading a song? Because I see a song name. Song is edit. Let me let me first check if there is we finished uploading a song because I don't even remember. So I'll go to my PHP admin and then check the section of what for adding new song. So the section is here. My microphone is not okay today. The section is here. Eugenio's music. It is here. I don't think we added any song. Yeah, I didn't do that. So let us do it right now. So let me first delete all this garbage. Okay, I'll delete everything. Okay. Uh huh. Let me just delete all the garbage. Okay, so everything here you understand. This is a connection. These are functions. Mm -hmm. So here, sorry, we need some stuff here. The title we need it. Adding new song action. Maybe here I'm saying that I'm going to upload to add song .php. We need this one. Get all artists. We need this. Is get updating i don't think we need this this one you don't need it right mm -hmm. so if i refresh everything is still okay mm -hmm. now i'm going to create here what uh, i'm going to create here to check if there is a post of adding new song okay i'm going to create a logic of adding new song so to create that logic i have to do what to get a name of one of these for example i'm going to check if there is a post of a song and in case there is a post of a song, then I'll know it is time to do what? To upload a song. Okay, so I make sure each of every part of my form is named. So I'll come here and put an if condition. And say if what is set post. Remember, everything that comes will come through the post. And then I check the post of what? Of adding song. Okay. Oh, I can... Oh, in fact, I, I had add song process, okay? Add song process file, it is here. <laughs> I take it to another level that I have not reached. Add song process file, it is where I was stopped at previously. Yeah, it is here. 
so this is where we're going to work from okay so let me add some new song so we're adding this song value let me search this song i think i already have it value the png is there mm -hmm. so to create good mm, to create good um, interfaces we need to have a standard sizes of images otherwise if you don't have enough image i mean standard image size then our project will end up looking bazaar so i'm going to go to this website canva.com if you have heard of it canva.com you can just visit it it is a very good website for editing anything that you want so i'm going to be using that to resize my images so i can decide which choice i'm going to use just visit this website create your account and then you'll be able to do it to resize your images so let me say that i'm going to create an image that is going to have dimensions hmm, that is going to have a dimension of maybe uh 800 by 800 eh? that is a squared photo 800 by 800 pixels then i create it so here with canva.com you can uh, edit anything okay just come and find it out you'll find it's a really really great website for doing what for creating uh, images so i create here my standard size photo for example i'm going to call this one valuable and i'm going to upload here my what my photo that i'll use for this song so i'll come and drag and drop this song uh, this photo here remember it's a website okay so my uploads will be here and i can reuse them again and again so let me resize this photo so that all of them they should have a standard size ah. or i can even brand my photos eh? i can brand my photos i can put some elements anything that i want for example i can have say music mm. uh, let me get here a logo you can put your logos there you can do anything that you want with this one but for me my main part here is to standardize my photos eh? to make my photos have the same standard of of, of size so without wasting much time let me download this photo so you can download in different types let me select jpg and download it so it will come and you see i'll have my photo here so i'm going to drag and drop this photo here in a song cover photo then i'm going to get a song mp3 and put it here so this is the song mp3 i'll put it here so i'm going to get the artist the artist is jose chameleon so i select him then i can select maybe uh we can say download value mp3 okay mp3 by jose a million and then i say submit and this song has been submitted here so you're going to do now the logic of submitting a song and its photo here okay so to do that i'm going to i'm going to do what i'm going to just open my php okay then i going to just dump the post okay so I'm going to dump the what the post and see everything that has been set in the post. So if I refresh, you see this let me echo here a pre tag. That's my things should look clearly. It's well structured. I save, I come and refresh. You see, I ref I resubmit. This is information in the post. This is the artist ID of course. This is the song name, this is the song details. But you can ask yourself where is the song photo and where is the um, the what where is the 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 song mp3 so those files that we upload in file it comes in the in the array super global array called files okay everything that you upload in a with a data type of file you see you see text i mean uh, type input type of what of file anything that you upload through that it will come and will be received through the files super global variable super global variable not in the post but in the what in the files 
super global variable as you can see here so if i come and refresh so you see you have two this is for the what for the post this is for the files so right now we're first interested in what in these files okay so i can first deal with files and then i deal with post later okay oh let me first deal with posts and then i deal with files later so i can now first determine what i want to write in the database so what i want to write in the database is a song right so i'll come to song and then i'll copy these things that i want to write these are the column that i want to fill so i can create here some comment and then paste these things here and then i'm going to remove which are not i'm going to hand one by one mm -hmm. song id i don't need it why it is an auto increment it automatically increment mm -hmm. song name i need it so song name i can first maybe create it here and equate it to nothing if i don't want to create an error mm -hmm. so song details uh -huh. so i can put their song details uh -huh. song photo i can put their song photo song mp3 this will be a link for mp3 put their song mp3 as update date uh, i'll put here upload date since <laughs> i call it update date but it's upload date so i'm going to just call it time like this okay then lastly artist id let me put it here why am i doing this i'm doing this because i don't want to cause an error so in case there is nothing by default for example i can put here no name by default there is no name okay so in case there is nothing my sql still will not crash the sql so i can check now let me first refresh yeah everything is okay so i'm going to first take care of these post things in the post so take care of things in the post what will i do i can comment them here okay so if you don't your project to crash you can just do like this you can check every part like if is said if you don't want to cause any error okay of course they will come through what through post if you set like this artist id and then you can now get the what this artist id and say artist id is equal to this one so you can even say the default artist id so if if the artist id is not set well and good there will be no problem but if it is set it will update this artist id okay so you know that it will not appear so that is done what else song name so i'll duplicate this so i'll just paste this one paste this one paste this one here of course it is same name eh? so that's why i use the same name in the what in the forms as same name as those in the database then lastly song details so uh, so i can put a song details song details song details so these variables already taken care of this one and this one and this one okay they're already taken care of so if i come and refresh and see if there's no error there's no error so i can even eliminate this post part and now i'm done with that so the next part is now uploading the mp3 and the and the what and the jpg file so uh, listen very very carefully so when you put the things in the files when you upload something in the files what does it do it um, it sends this file in form of what of an array and it attached there uh, these things so first of all remember we had a song mp3 so if you come here in our form you'll find that here the name of the song mp3 is the one that they did what that they set here so that's why i had song mp3 as you can see here mm -hmm. then what else we had um song song what song i mean song photo okay so if you come here you'll find that we have a what that we have a song photo as you can see here where is it song photo it is here and it is type of a file and these are the things that are coming inside the files so i'm going to deal one with one and with one and one uh, one by one and uh, in case that everything is okay the error is zero it will always be zero and in case there is any problem 
uh, the error will be what will be will uh, the error will be will be more than zero okay so I'm going to deal with one by one I'll begin with the photo then after the photo I'll do what I'll do the I'll upload the what the, the um, mp3 so I'll copy the name first of all of a song that I'm uploading okay so I can first check if it's set because I don't want to cause an error if you don't want to cause an error you have to check if it's set every time uh, before you call something so I check if is set what files of a file that I want to upload which is song photo okay so I can check if it's set then I can say maybe uh, song photo is equal to and then I first copy maybe the details that are in this array and I copy them here okay so let me first deal with the song photo the song mp3 will work on it later so I can um, let me call it file okay let me call it um, how should I call it upload file or I can call it upload I can call it anything let me call it upload eh? upload file file to upload okay let me call it file to upload okay anything that you want so now okay, let me call it file to upload let me call it a file upload <laughs> whatever okay upload okay so let me dump this upload here okay so after checking that you see everything is okay because that's just dump this upload file okay so song photo and yeah, this song photo so you see you have some few things you have the name you have the um, the type of a file that's being uploaded and you have the temporary location where this file is being saved before it is uploaded and you have the error this error is uh, is a what is uh, checking if the, if the file is really right to be uploaded and then you have the size of the photo so this time the so the photo is not uploaded or the file is not uploaded so if you want to check like a file to be uploaded should be qualified by the certain size so this is a point where you can check it from this is a <laughs> this is a point where you can check it from okay you convert this one to bytes i mean to megabytes or kilobytes whatever and you check them but these one are bytes so if you want to convert them to kilobytes you divide by 1224 you want to convert them to megabytes will be divided by 1024 times 2 I mean by times 2 right times again you divide it two times well 1024 okay so in case you want to take care of the size and then you can make a decision but the most important part here is you must first check the error to be zero otherwise if the error is not zero then it means that um, there's some error that this file is not ready to be uploaded so I'm going to first check if this error is set and then I'll check again if it is zero then I'll go ahead and start doing the uploading logic you can even skip all these what I'm doing but uh, it is very very good to do while programming because if it's if we, you don't take care of this one when making serious projects uh, you start getting uh, annoying errors while you're uploading so I'm first checking if this upload, remember I've saved this upload here I'm checking if this upload is having error of zero then I'm going to echo here and say echo or I can say die and say okay I first check if is set if is set okay and then after I check if the error is zero okay then let me die here and say go to go so here here it is where i'll be doing what i'll be i'll be it is where i'll be doing the logic from of uploading so let me let me refresh go to go so you mean that everything is okay and the error is zero so the file is ready to be what to be uploaded when you check it here so let me come and dump this one here 
so here it's only here where I'll be doing what I'll be doing the logic from uh -huh. okay so I hope you are together so if I refresh everything is fine now everything is now ready to be uploaded now let us do the uploading logic so to do the uploading logic just come and follow this w3 scrolls okay maybe say uh, php uh, file upload mm -hmm. come and read this and follow these simple steps these simple steps first of all you have to make sure that the upload file in the php ini file is set to on okay by default is set on how to increase the file size and make sure the file size is right in the php ini file okay let me show you how that is done you just simply come to here and come here configuration no, no, no. yes no you come here to config here under apache then you see php ini this is the settings of what of the php file so you can search uh right file upload okay file uploads and make sure that this settings is on so this is where we set php from you see file uploads the setting is on others if it is not uh, we should make it off then the php will not allow us to do what to upload mm -hmm. so you see here maximum number of files that have to be uploaded you can change them from here also they make them 20 or 30 or whatever you can save them from here so upload maximum file size so you see here our maximum file size it is 40 mb so you cannot upload a file that is beyond 40 mb if you want to change it you can just add here and save and restart your zamp so this ini file it is where we set the php settings from okay so i've closed it to find it just come here in the zamp and then click ini php ini i'm going to config then php ini you can as well find it under your local ho i mean your ht doc i mean under your zamp folder php and then php in you'll find the same file so i can edit php settings from don't play with it it is so sophisticated otherwise if you mess up with it your your server will be broken your zamp will be broken okay so here uh steps of uploading a file so here we are checking if the file is okay everything everything ah. so i will not explain everything but you can come and learn uh the details of uploading a what a file okay here okay you can learn the details of uploading a file from the from here okay uh -huh. so for me what i'm going to do i'm going to upload the file okay so first of all we need to create a folder i can call it uploads okay or i can call it anything that i want but uh, this folder it is fire mm -hmm. my uploads it will go okay let us read, uh, let us read that folder okay so to do that i'm also going to call this my uploads or i can call it anything that i want so I'll come here to my project. It is here. So on top here, I'm going to put a create a folder. Maybe I should call it uploads. Or I can call it files. Anything that you want. Now I've called it files. So all my files I'll be saving them here inside the file. See, it is here. Yeah. So now let us um do the logic of uploading. Ah, first of all, you get the file name. That is where, I mean, the target. That is where you want to, uh, to do it to upload the file. Okay, so target directory is going to be base name file upload. Let me see how the what this line does. Okay, I don't want to light. So target directory is going to be a place where we're going to upload the files. Of course, ours have called it files, so you don't need to even use the uh, very variables. Eh? You don't need to use the their very name variables, but if you want, you can do. Mm -hmm. So I can say um, destination. So that's where that's where I want my file to be taken. So I can just say destination. 
destination so i can maybe make my destination i begin the what with the file i mean so files so this is the name of the folder okay the name of our folder and let me uh, so that's the destination what else i'll have to put the file name file name where that i want to give this name the, the i mean the file that i want to give the file that i'm uploading okay the file name okay so let me call this file stroke okay okay let me just say file ah uh, let me call this one uh, folder and then you call this one file okay file name okay file name this is what folder name okay so after doing this is the folder where i'm going to put my what my files remember i've just created this right now and this is the file that uh, i'm going to do what to upload the file name mm -hmm. so how do you get the file name you can give it any name that you want but uh, you can give it any name. but if you want to get the name remember the name of this file is here can you see the name of this file is here eh? so if you want to get it see temp name it is the file that i'm going to do uh, to upload so here but if you want to get the file name to use the same file name you can as well use this name here so it means that if we come here and say temp uh temp load okay uh, let me call it source file source is equal to so i'm going to get this uh file name eh? so remember it is inside what this upload remember i copy this upload and put everything here so if i want it i just say uh, upload and then this one eh? and then i put this temp name okay so i'll be able to get the source eh? so this is a source of a file so a file that i'm going to upload okay i can call it upload file upload file okay this is the file that i'm going to upload this is the file name i say this is the folder name okay so these two they'll form for me a destination i don't know whether you're understanding okay these two they'll form for me what a destination okay so destination we call do like this destination that is where i'm going to take a what a a file okay so of course destination will be a combination of a folder of a folder that i'm going to upload in and then stroke stroke and then the file name okay that will form for us a destination okay so at this moment let me echo this and die okay so just say echo and then die from that point okay die okay so if i do like this you see our destination is going to be just the folder name but there is no name of a file so we cannot upload this one before we give it a what before we give it a name okay no name of a file mm -hmm. so now let us give the what the file name so if you want to use the same same file name as that one um, in what in the in the okay let us say number of files just going to be <laughs> one eh? for now let's just say it's going to be uh one but remember this file will need a what will need an extension okay it will need an extension it will need an extension an extension is just be like essential like dot mp3 dot mp4 dot whatever dot jpg so i want to get something that i don't need to fix it this function i'll create in the fo in form in fact i'll make it a what i'll make it a function so i don't want to fix i want do i want i don't want to fix it i want to be dynamic okay so you mean that i have to get the file extension from here can you see the file extension is here and it is under the name so i want to get this part only so that i should know the type of a what of a file so let me copy this name okay maybe okay so if i want to get the extension i can get the extension using this function 
it's called base base name okay this base name will help us to get the extension so the base name you just say maybe file name is equal to then dot what dot upload upload sorry let us attach the, uh, the base name this is a function in built-in function of php base name and then i'm going to pass the upload and then the name of a file so here i'll pass the upload and then the name of a what of a file i mean the name though the name the file just name like this okay so it's going to be one rain dot the file extension let us see let me echo here the file name and what and die save come and refresh you can see you can see you have the whole file name with the what the extension okay you have the file name with the extension but uh, okay if I don't want for example this one here I can remove it I can remove it so this the file name but you'll find um, even this base name we may not need it okay you'll find that um, there will be a problem like we may need to rename our files we may need to rename our files to specific names but for now let me just leave this one then i'll show you the problem and we'll come back and solve it so the file name this is the upload name and let us echo here the destination and you see the destination is a combination of a file for of a folder name and file name and then you have a what destination of what you want to do you see that's the destination file stroke the file name that we're uploading okay so after doing that after doing that i can now go ahead and uh, upload okay so i've got the everything uh we want now to do what to upload okay we want to upload so to upload a PHP file, we have this one function, this one, eh? it's called move, and then we get a temporary file, a destination file, okay? So temporary file, or the file to upload, you can get it from here, using from this temp. And you remember we're having a temp somewhere when we are equaling that. So we'll use this function, move file, and then we pass two things the source and the what and the destination okay so let me get the source okay if i want to get the source let me first comment this function here if i want to get the source of course okay let me first a uh, dump and i show you how we're going to get the source mm. let me first dump here let me dump this okay let me just dump this and so you can see everything clearly printer mm -hmm. save i just dumped that the upload file can you see so this is the source this is the source the temporary space it is still on our computer but it's a place where our where where the file is saved that you're going to upload eh? so i'm going to get this temp name and get the source uh, to make a source okay source of file that we're going to upload it's going to be inside upload remember how we got this upload we got it from here by copying it from the file that we are uploading so we're going to have to upload and then we pass what we pass the name temp na temp name this one is one that we want okay so let me echo the source and see if it is okay before i do it attempt uploading so save so you can see this is the temporary space where a file is being uploaded in fact it is changing every time we refresh so that is the temporary space now we want to upload okay it's now the time to upload they're just pretty few simple for it's pretty forward simple steps okay you can see we get the folder name we get the file name and this file name you can even modify it as you want you get the destination you can even write all these these lines in just one line but may I break them down so that you can understand you make a destination and a source okay so once we have these two 
we can go ahead and do it and upload so to upload the file you use this function called move file okay it will return true or false it will turn true if it was successful it will turn false if it was not successful so i'll check to successful just simply say if it's a if and then put if move file and then it takes two parameters the first parameter is the source and then the second parameter is destination so it's taking the source and the target or the destination so where well, what is the source the source is here we already created okay with the source and the second parameter it is taking the destination and i put here the what the destination then i will echo success here success and else here i'll echo what failed just for testing right now so i save success so if you come in our folder you can see the file has come in our folder can you see it is here you can even come in here and see this file is here now can you see that beautiful mm -hmm. so let's refresh uh, so do you expect two files I refresh success but you see only still there is one file so what does it mean it means that one file is overwriting the other let me show you what it means I refresh okay let me first delete this file refresh so you see this is the folder where our file we're expecting it to come let's say continue you see automatically the file comes but if you refresh again there should be two files what you see <laughs> the same file is being overwritten so what does it mean it means that the file is overwritten because it is having same name again okay so it means that <laughs> you have to take care of your names of the file and make sure the file name don't look the same because if they look the same they will do what they will um, have a right the other so you have to think so you can create a random number you can create you can pick the time of seconds you know you know it is very hard to find that you're uploading the same file in the same time in the same second so because time is always increasing so you cannot upload the file in the same time in the same second it is very little unless it, the probability is very low unless your system is very huge and uh, you are doing what and uh, your system is very is used by many people who upload the file in the same uh, who might upload the file at the same time to show you that uh, it is always hectic or uh serious to create file names i'm going to show you by downloading one photo on facebook and then you'll see how it is crazy the names that they give to their files so let us go to facebook and we see so 18 minutes so i've taken one hour already so let me go to facebook Okay, let me get this photo. Let me download this one. So I right click and say save. Uh huh. So just look at this. Can you see this? Can you see this? That is how Facebook saved its file. Let me show you. Can you see this? This is the file that I've just uh, uh, downloaded. This one, eh? But you see the name that was given to it. Let me copy it. Let me copy it so that I should show you. Skip. So. And you see, that's the name that Facebook gave to its single file. Why it does not want it to uh, override other files. Eh? So they make sure they put a very long random number. I don't know if it may be the time uh, in seconds to make sure that this file should never overwrite the other okay so it's that's what we do okay so 
I'm going to also do the same logic and create a single file name that will not override the other. Okay. So there are many ways you can use the file name. You can use many ways. Okay. So uh, first of all, you have to get even the extension because remember when you're creating a name, you will not know the extension, the file extension. Okay. So you can first get the file extension. Uh, so how to get a file extension? I even don't know. I always search. I uh, can search here and say, uh, let me search this thing. I don't know it in the head. PHP. Let me s come here. I've already finished this one. Eh? So come and read this article, please. PHP file upload on W3 schools. You'll get more details that you can deal with. Okay. Please do this. Okay. Come and read this article on W3 schools. PHP file upload. It's very important. So let me search um, what I want to search. Uh, get file extension PHP. <laughs> Google to just know what I want automatically. So come here at Stack Overflow and get the answers. You see, this is the correct answer. Just get the file name and then use this path info. Okay, so let's go and use this function. I already have the file name which is here under the file name. Okay, so and then you say uh, you call this function eh? which is uh, path info, path info, and then you give the path. Remember, this is the almost the path. Okay, let me call this path. Okay path path okay so this is our path so here i'll give the path let me remove this i don't need this okay let me just remove this okay so this is the path let me get a file our file name is here okay so we get the path after getting the path remember our path ah our path is here okay cut this okay our path is there and then let me i can even remove this word base whatever okay let me remove it so i get the path remember the path is nothing but just that temporary thing i mean the file name okay let me comment this and die here and show you what is the path okay so this is our path echo uh, I want to show what is the path Do -do -do -do. Um, computer is frozen I have to wait a minute why is it freezing Okay, so here the what is the file path? Okay, I want to show you the file path. So to show you the file path, I'll just simply say echo this file path and die here. Okay, so let me show you what is the file path. So this is the file path, it's just a name of a file that we are uploading, a name of a file that we are uploading. Uh -huh. So after getting that file path, so if you want to get the extension, you just say path info. You've passed this file path and then this constant of PHP. So let me show you the extension because we need this extension so much. Okay, so you see the extension the JPG. So that's how we get the extension of the file that we are uploading. Otherwise, <laughs> you have to be careful. Okay, <laughs> so let us get now the let us now make the file name. So the file name, I'm going to make it by creating a what? Some random numbers. So to create a random numbers, we use this uh, function of PHP called RAND. So you can set a range. For example, I want to be maybe between 1,000 and maybe 1 million, whatever. Okay, let me show you just what we've got here, right? Before we even proceed, okay? 
Okay, let me refresh. Can you see that? So if I refresh every time, I'll get some random number, like real random number. I can even increase it. Yeah, you see, so it will be a very low chance to get a file with same file extension. So after getting a random number, let me add there some underscore. I can even add more random numbers if I want. <laughs> but why all that security? <laughs> you see, I can do like this. Eh? So you see, we have all these. So it is very, very low probability to upload the file there and get the same random number. <laughs> very, very low probability. So if I want to make it crazy like Facebook, I can add now time time is very important because it is very impossible to upload <laughs> it is impossible right almost impossible to upload the file in the same second so to get the time say in seconds just write this function time in second like this then you get the what the time in seconds okay can you see this is the time in seconds so this time will always increase every day every day it will increase every minute every second this time increase so it is very impossible to upload the time the file in the same time the same second and then get the same random numbers and get the same random numbers two times it's really really it's impossible <laughs> it's impossible so the file cannot overwrite mm -hmm. so i can even add there maybe the song name for example the song name if you want to add it there i can add it let me get a song name. Maybe I may want to to do what to to search for this song using the file, so I can add there maybe song name. So remember, I already got the song name from here up. Okay, remember I got the song name somewhere here. Okay, somewhere up there. So refresh. You see, value and then. So some song names may have space, okay? Some song name may have space, and remember, space is not a good friendly. It's not friendly to links, so I have to remove the space by using str replace and then to replace the space, okay? So let me, if I don't want space, I can just say file name is good, str replace, okay? So I replace. I search for any space, and I replace it maybe with underscore and i put here the file name then you see the file name will be i can turn it maybe to lower to lower to to lower link i mean to 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 lower case str lower so all that, that my file should always have i mean my street my my link of a file should always have a lower lay names in lower case uh, so let us assume that uh, our song had a what had a space in it let me show you what is the song name it is here right let me add there um, space let's say by chameleon something like this okay so if i refresh you see the space is eliminated by what by the underscore okay what i was telling you so because the space is not friendly to link eh? to links uh, so after doing that now we have to add a what the extension so to add the extension i'll just simply say uh, dot equal sign okay dot equal sign it will add on it extension okay so i'll add the extension eh? you know this dot equal means add string it's just same as the it's same as this this is same as this it's just the same you see you get the same file and uh, you get the same file name and add the what and add the string if you don't repeat to yourself you can just use this one eh? so they're just the same let me just remove this it's useless it's just the same eh? so if i refresh now i have the what the file extension i have the song name i have the random number i have another random number i have the time in seconds and the what and the extension but extension must be having a dot so that's another important thing so i must put here uh, a what a dot with this file extension eh? like this so I concatenate a dot and then I concatenate a what an extension so refresh everything is perfect otherwise if you don't put a dot to the file will 
show an error okay uh -huh. so we are good to go we all now have the file name and what and the file destination so let us refresh and see if we'll get success i remove the die mm -hmm. okay so it will be very rare for a file to have the same name like this eh? uploaded in the same second something like this let me pin yes <laughs> I'm sharing <laughs> things. So, let me delete this picture and we try again. So I refresh. So let me accept. Can you see? The picture has come, and we've got that uh, link like that of Facebook. Yes, let me show our link. Uh, you see, our link. Yeah, he's like this man. So, you see, our link is here. It's just like that of Facebook, eh? but we're having uh, the name of a file. So, to give us some hint, okay? To give us some hint. Now, let us refresh and see if it will uh, overwrite it again. I refresh, I accept, you see? Instead of overwriting, I have another file. So, it will be almost impossible to be overwritten, you see? I cannot it cannot overwrite eh? it will never 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 because the time is increasing there are random numbers there unless there's a I don't know whether that chance is there <laughs> eh? getting two random numbers look the same in the same second and it <laughs> it's really really rare okay so all these files are there but remember these files are not recorded in what on database yet are not recorded on database so when there is success i want to get this file name i want to get the file name and now update this what song photo you see that's very important part when only there is a success i will make sure that the file has been uploaded then i'll get this file name i'll not put the destination because the destination will come with the whole link of a file and maybe you put our file on the server and you put in a different folder so it will find a problem because the folder name is already attached so i'll attach only i'll get the file name only and it's the one that i'll write in the what in the database you see and i update this song name here only when there is a what there is a successful what successful upload let me remove this fail um, i don't care whether it fail or not or in case say if it fail the song name should be sent to again back i mean the the photo name should be set back to nothing something like that to confirm that you don't have errors okay so after then it's successfully uploaded huh? so that's what uh, that's how we upload now i'm going to create a function but you can stop from here for you you can stop from here for you but for me i'm going to create a what a function that uh, is going to be uploading any file any file that i want this function will be uploading it for me so that i should not repeat myself when i'm creating this code i don't repeat myself so i'm going to create a what a function but for you here it's okay you can go ahead but if you want to be effective you're not supposed to repeat yourself so let me create this function and this function i'm going to call it upload file i'll be giving it just the file that i want it to upload for me it will upload it for me and then return for me a destination where the file has been uploaded so that we should not repeat ourselves again and again and again and again and again okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to make this function receive a what the file okay so i'll just remove this and i'm just going to, okay let me create this function uh I'll let me create this function okay so this function in fact will start from where from here from here and it will end here that's where the logic is okay so let me cut this you see what i've cut this okay so i'll cut that i'm going to create this function so i'll come here down and call this one function upload file okay that's the name of the function upload file upload my file okay so that's the function then i'll paste there the code okay 
so this function to receive only the upload you see to receive only the upload of course okay so once i finish checking here i'm just going to call this function okay so i'm going to call this function by just giving it this okay so when i'll give it this it will receive it here and then the rest it will do it on its own logic very powerful function so i'm going just to call it upload what upload file mm -hmm. so i have to receive eh? i have to receive the link of a file that has been uploaded where the file has been uploaded okay i can say um uh, maybe i can say it maybe uh destination destination is equal to i can call it destination or anything okay so let me echo here whatever to bring to me okay so i have to return from this function so i'll always return uh -huh. let me see so here i'll return just a file name okay instead of saying equal to i'll return a file name so let me return a file name return good night my brother yeah and thank you yeah tomorrow inshallah so you see here i return a file name and maybe here i can return nothing okay return nothing so if there is nothing it returns nothing let me maybe this file name equal to nothing okay so it will always return here at the end eh? if in case there's anything or whatever it return nothing okay so file name is equal to nothing at first i can even comment this one i just always be returning nothing eh? so it will return a file name only when there is a what a successful upload otherwise it will return nothing and in case this there's an error it will return nothing so this is my function for uploading let us see if this function is working so i'm calling this function and then i give it the photo that it should upload for me and then i echo whatever it has returned to me back so let us refresh uh oh something is wrong at line 51 it has got line 51 uh oh <laughs> supposed to be returned just not equal sign just return nothing not return equal sign refresh and define song name in file now 41 41 okay oh yeah song name oh yeah so you see that's then the problem eh? so in case that we wanted to uh, pass this uh, let us leave this one eh? in case we want to okay let us do it in case we so I'll receive this song na uh, file name let me call it file name because I don't want this to be limited eh? so file name i'll just pass it here so to receive the file name here and pass it here so here instead of passing uh, only one variable i'll pass the second word the second variable which is a what which is the song name of which i've taken care of song name where is it it is here here here, here. song name remember this song name is here we've already taken care of it okay so to receive this song name and what and the file so refresh everything now should be okay perfect though the song name was not taken a file name oh yeah it is overwritten here it's a silly mistake okay uh let me how should i name it eh? how should i name it <laughs> um ta, ta, ta. how should i name it because it is i'm using the same file name two times okay uh let me call it name let me call it name Okay, save here and come here and give it a name. Okay, I hope you're understanding. So refresh. You see, now everything is okay, and you can see our photos are. So it means that this function I can use it to upload any kind of a file, any kind, whether it's a PDF, whether it's a what. It is independent. It will intelligently know the extension and will take care of the rest. Huh? To take care of the rest, as long as the folder is existing and the so that's the file so that's how we uploaded what our file so here this is a song file so i'll upload i'll update this song file from here from this destination you see here so if i say here 
song file let me call this song file i mean song photo so I refresh boom success perfect let us now uh, dump the what the remaining file what is the remaining file it is the mm. add two files the cover photo and also upload the what the mp3 it's a song mp3 so after uploading the song mp3 i'll do just the same logic i'll just duplicate here you see the, the advantage of writing functions eh? song mp3 so echo here maybe. echo here Beata, you see the advantage of writing functions you write your code one time and you reuse it again and again so you see i write my code only one time i'm just reusing it in git again and again and again so refresh you see this is the song name i mean this is the uh, sorry what did i pass song 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 oh i'm calling the wrong thing eh? so let's refresh can you see this is the mp3 file this is the song name and if you come to a folder you see how two mp3 files and the what and the song photos okay so these um, these are the ones that we write on the database these ones they go in the folders eh? the file themselves they go in the folders only these are the ones that will do what that we write in the database mm. and you see the advantage we write the code only one time we write the code only one time and then um, only the files are the ones that uh, that we do what that uh, i mean that only the uploading the file is a, is what is when we call it so i can remove this okay i can remove this uh -huh. so i'm going since i have these functions remember i have my my file of functions eh? i have the external file of functions so i'm going to copy this function and put it there so that i can use this function even in other in other projects even in other files so when i'm creating another project I'll, of well, that will involve uploading a file i'll not need again to hassle with uploading a file i'll just call this i'll come and copy and paste that function so let me come in this we have a file of functions eh? here my functions i'm just going to paste there okay so all what i need is to include this my function file inside this project so i can just say require require uh, then i put oh you can say require once uh, so i refresh just refresh and see if everything is still okay so this one will include all these functions in this file so remember our function of upload we have just added it so if it is an external file we'll be just reusing it again and again you see everything is okay no error so a file has been uploaded now it's time to do what to write on the database it's time to do what to write on the database so we are going to write this information so let us write the sql so this is what you're going to write i'm going to i'm pasting them here just because to remember that's the only thing so our sql will be like sql is equal to insert into so i'll come and copy a song the table name insert it to song and then i put uh, what i want to insert and then what values okay and then what i want to insert the values see so what will i want to insert? remember this song name huh? i mean these names are the same names as my variables so i don't need to be worried of whatever so i'll insert the song name i can even press enter to make sure that my thing is well organized no problem as long as you're following the same structure so the song name okay and then the song details let me uh, let me just cut them because i don't need them i already done with them here so song details mm -hmm. song photo what else song id what artist id uh-huh what else song mp3 what else upload date uh-huh whatever i call it so that's it i remove this last comma most people always forget this last comma and they find problems okay so don't be the most people <laughs> so now it's time to put the values so the values are just exactly the same because i use the same names of the variables i just come and paste them here 
and just put the dollar sign and so the dollar sign and then they should be surrounded with this and then with the what with the quotes like this okay so with the quotes with a curl bracket and what and the dollar sign uh -huh. so let me do the same with quotes with curl bracket and dollar sign and also here with quotes with curl bracket and dollar sign here and then with quotes with curl bracket and dollar sign here uh, with quotes with curl brackets and the dollar sign so everything is okay let us die with this sql and make sure that the sql is okay before we run it eh? so i'll just simply say echo echo the sql and i want to make sure the sql is okay before i run it refresh you see the sql is okay now it's time to run it so i'll first include the connection remember i have the connection file here so you don't need to suffer so i'll just say require once then i'll put here con remember the name of the file is con and then i have my con inside for connection so i'll just simply say if query oh, okay sorry if connection then you point at what query and pass the what the sql okay and then here i'll echo echo good and if it fails else i'll echo bad okay refresh come on refresh here perfect so if you go to our database oh, time has ended <laughs> if we go to our database where is our database it is where is it though where is the database did i just close it hi <laughs> we I remove the database eh? so it is uh, under php i mean local host stroke php admin so go to the database which is where which is um eg music so it has got to songs you see we have the first record uh inserted in our heart in our in our uh, in our database so we only record the song name not the song itself okay the song location name you see the link you see not the file itself so perfect okay perfect so after this process i will have let, let me say if in case it fails i'll die here and say failed to uh, upload uh, fail to write on the database whatever okay on um, database okay so in case everything is okay so it will not execute this part i'm going to do what to redirect uh, to redirect so i'm going to redirect where maybe to songs do you have a page of songs no let us create it now and save it as songs.php yeah we are good to go say so it will do we we'll put what all songs echo all songs all songs okay so let me come here and do it and uh, and redirect uh. Re oh, i use header header function header and then you pass location and then uh, songs dot small letters songs dot php and then semicolon i uh, so save this guy refresh see all songs perfect that is very very perfect let me try to go back Uh -huh. let me try to delete these songs that you should not have too much junk delete everything 
uh -huh, then come to the database itself okay come to the database and i won't delete every j rubbish that is in the song data table so i click on sql and write this function truncate truncate and then song the table name press enter see everything the song has been deleted everything in the song table has been deleted let us try to upload again perfect all songs okay so if we try to see here we have a single song and a single file if we try to see in our database have a single song now it's time to do what to let me create this page faster faster i'll not finish it but let me just make it look good so uh, i'm going to see for example here on artist here i'm just going to copy <laughs> let me paste this artist what do i need i need i don't need this i don't need this ah, okay let me put here just all songs i mean all songs okay this video has been too long all songs and uh, i'll put the songs i mean i'll put all songs here let me put here the file of art of all artists eh? the link of all artists all artists eh? all artists okay uh -huh, so so these are not really songs but we'll fix them next in the next class so the link of all artists it's just artists eh? i think artists yeah just artists okay refresh save uh-huh so after saving uh then i'll go to art okay let me refresh you see all songs but it is showing artists we'll fix this one next week uh, i mean next class so all artists let me put here some beer tag eh? just for the sake okay so all artists so here in all artists i'm going also to put all songs so in all artists where's all artists where's all artists which is in artists just oh, i'm just going to get in navigation eh? artists eh? Mm -hmm. vr so i'm going just to put here songs so let me put here all songs and lastly I'll come here to to where to add artist eh? add artist and just paste that thing here just for the sake put here maybe some beer tag boom you're good to go uh, all songs you are good to navigate so it's all songs eh? all artists eh? so add a song add new song add new artist so add new song we can add new song all artist uh -huh. So in the next class we'll have to give an artist a photo okay in next class we'll give to you will need to give an artist a photo and then we'll proceed from there inshallah i hope you won't miss and uh we'll also have to present the songs eh, here remember these are not songs these are artists so i need to present the songs here so the next class the first thing to do will be to do it to present to give an artist a photo and also presenting the song and doing the logic of logging in and logging out if time allows so thank you for watching uh make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, share the video okay we meet in the next class see you i hope you won't miss yeah